and welcome to sports. We begin with Nigeria's loss at the AFCON yesterday. Algeria forward Riyad Mahrez curled in a free kick in stoppage time to give Algeria a two goals to one win over Nigeria in a tense Africa Cup of Nations semi-final played in a volatile atmosphere on Sunday. The Algerians went ahead when William Trustekan turned in Mahrez cross into his own net five minutes before half time. Nigeria equalized out of the blue midway through the second half with a penalty awarded for handball and converted by Odion Nihalo following a lengthy VAR review. There were ugly scenes as bottles were thrown after the equalizer. Algeria will face Senegal in Friday's final. Let's now bring in a FIFA, a FIFA intermediary to talk to us more about uh, that game. Uh, thank you very much indeed for joining us, uh, Yemi Ido. Well, what do you think really happened in that game against Algeria on Saturday, on Sunday? Um, well, thank you very much, uh, IK. I, I think um, the, we should be very happy that uh, Nigeria was well represented at uh, the competition. There were 32 teams, and uh, out of the four teams remaining in the competition, Nigeria was one of them. So um, the way I see it is that uh, we would have loved to win, but we didn't win. And in the spirit of football, let's congratulate the Algerians on their win and uh, go and prepare for the next competition. Right, in the aftermath of the game, South have been saying that uh, the team did not play to its strength and that Geno Raw should be sacked. Do you share the same view? Um, no, I don't. I mean, that's why I think we're having this conversation. I, I think um, we need to have uh, a change of heart in Nigeria. Um, when people represent Nigeria and they've gone out uh, to give up their time and to represent Nigeria, we need to appreciate them. We need to appreciate the players, we need to appreciate the coaches, we need to appreciate the individuals who supported the team, the physios, the uh, team support, the uh, people on ground here who have assisted the fans who traveled and bought tickets to support them. I think as a country, with all our problems, Nigerian football is one of the few things that make us happy. And, you know, the journalists who have given up their time as well to support the team, I think we should all congratulate them and support them. I, I don't want to join in any, um, you know, uh, uh, negative messages on uh, the Nigerian team. Whether you're playing basketball or football or basketball, we should congratulate the team and hope that the younger kids who see all these uh, heroes playing and giving up their time are celebrated. That will encourage more people to represent Nigeria. That's the message I want to push. And it was a nice game. You saw how the goal was scored. It would have been nice if we had won, but we did not win. So that's the way football is. Two people play, one person wins. And uh, if you listen to the, uh, um, all the other FIFA pundits, they were very happy with the competition. And we contributed to that. We should be proud of what we've achieved. All right. uh we didn't win. But we've got the third place match to come. All right, let, let's look at the performance of Wilfred Ndidi, the man okay, who made ahead. the most yeah. tackles in the Premier League last season. How would you describe his performance? I, I think Ndidi is one of uh, a whole squad. So um, the entire squad did very well. The team did very well. They supported Ndidi. Ndidi supported the team. So I don't want to identify one player and I don't want to play that game of uh, identifying or uh, you know, pulling out one player. The goalkeeper, the defenders, the midfielders, the strikers, the coaches, everybody did well. And uh, I, I want, I mean, when I listen to my friends, uh, they, they are silent. I'm one of the few people that, that I have a chance to talk. I think we should be celebrating Nigerians who represent Nigeria and we should not, uh, you know, um, make any negative comments about the 90 minutes they played for Nigeria with all their hearts. After that match, many of them had injuries. They, they had ice packs on them. They were disappointed. So we don't want to make it worse by criticizing the players. They all played very well. 
All right, uh, Yemi Do, FIFA intermediary, we thank you very much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us.